when I came aboard the film, one of the biggest things that I wanted to do was make sure that we were able to tell this story authentically. So step one was actually finding as many Corsairs and Bearcats as we could. So we sort of scoured the, the, the United States with the help of our aerial team led by Kevin LaRosa to, to find where these planes were. And we brought them all together, got them painted for VF-32, and we knew now that we had a chunk of the squadron that we could actually shoot in camera for real, which was very exciting. And then there were a lot of other smaller elements where, you know, None of these Essex-class carriers are obviously still operational, so what we actually did was um, we one-for-one one replicated the tower and built that on an airfield in Statesboro, Georgia. That way, we had this real location that was really affected by weather and light. We could park real Corsairs in front of it, and it really gave you the experience of being on the ship, even though we were uh, miles off into the woods. So, so much of what we were trying to do in this process was just to make it feel real, make it feel like you were really there with Jesse and Tom in 1950. <laughs> this film has to be seen in the theater because if you look at the canvas that we painted with uh, in this movie, it's all on these giant IMAX formats. We have Eric Messerschmidt, who's Academy Award winning DP with J.D. Dillard, who have these giant panoramas of things happening in the, in the frame. When you really watch this movie, there's so much going on in addition to the emotional story. All the nuance there. You have these epic set pieces. We're pulling warbirds from around the world that have never been seen on film. I mean, this is really for, for aviation nuts, for any veteran to see what we're putting on the screen. It's never been done before. So it's, for me, it's just a really exciting thing. And audiences, if you want to experience this movie and experience it co correctly, mounting IMAX cameras on Warbirds and doing everything that we're doing in this film, you'd be doing yourself a disservice to not be watching it on the biggest format you possibly can.